Welcome to Day 2 of Traveler. Here's the big idea for today. Well, here's the first big idea for today. Let's say that you have a problem that tells you that the vertex is too steep of a parabola. Well, let's go ahead and graph that. The vertex is right here. It also tells you that the focus is at 2 comma 2.5. Well, that means that the focus is right here. What do you know about that problem already? Which way is it going to open up? It has to open down because the focus is always on the inside of the problem. So your job is to figure out what the equation of the parabola is. Well, let's start with this. We know vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus Just using the vertex, how much of that can we fill in? Quite a lot, actually. We've got y equals a times x minus 2 squared plus 3. The only thing that's missing is a. So how can we use the focus to figure out what a is? Well, the first thing we can do is we can figure out the focal length. The focal length is just going to be the difference between the vertex and the focus. It's that length. And in this case, that's one half. 3 minus 2.5 is one half. We also know that the focal length is equal to 1 over 4a. So now we have an equation. We can solve for a. Should we cross cancel? 1 times 4a is 4a. 2 times 1 is 2. Divide both sides by 4, you end up with a equals 1 half. All right, so we can go up to our equation, erase the a, substitute in 1 half. Easy? Let's go ahead and figure out the rest of the components here of this parabola, and then we'll graph it. We know the focus, we know the focal length. We should be able to find the directrix. Directrix is going to just be one focal length above, oops, sorry, we can see that. The focal length is actually negative 0.5. You see why? It's because the focus is below. And we know that we want our parabola to be opening up downward. That's why it has to be negative 0.5. Directrix. The directrix, we're going to take just one focal length above, so that's going to be y equals 3.5. All right. Um, what about length of the lattice vector? The LLR is equal to 1 over A, the absolute value of that. So that would be the absolute value of 1 over 1 half, which equals 3. So we'll go 1 on either side here, and that will allow us to make a parabola. Then we can go ahead and put our um, directrix in as well. Hold on, let me pause this. All right, so the, the directrix is going to go in at y equals Big idea number two. We What happens if we have a parabola that's not opening up or down, but instead it's opening right or left? Well, let's take a look at it. Where's the vertex? Right here. And we can see just from the graph that this vertex is at 2 comma 3. And we can see from the graph here that the focus is going to be at 2.5 comma 3. Where is the 
ask if it's going to Can you see that the axis is going to be run straight down the middle of the parabola? Just like that. And hopefully, you can see that the equation of that line is going to be y is equal to 3. Notice that the vertex and the focus both have y points of 3 because they line right on that axis. Let's take the direct rate now. Well, direct rate is going to be one focal length behind the distance. So this one, if the focal, if the focus is at, is one half in front of the vertex, direct rate had better be one half behind. So that doesn't work. Ah. There's the directrix right there. And the equation for that directrix is going to be x equals 1.5. What is the focal length? Uh, you know what? I'm going to ignore this. The focal length is going to be half. Is it positive or negative? Well, this parabola is opening in the positive direction, so the focal length is positive. And we're going to say that that equals 1 over 4a. So that helps us figure out what our a is. Our a is 4a minus 2. 4a minus 2 can we rewrite the equation? Is it going to be in this form, y equals a times x minus h squared plus k? No, that only gives us vertical parabolas. Watch what the general form for this kind of parabola is. It's going to be x equals a times y minus k squared. Let's plug in what we have. We've got x equals a times from the vertex y minus 3 squared plus 2. And then we've already calculated our a, so I'm going to plug that in here. That becomes one half. Well, I think we've got pretty much everything except for the length of the last rectum. Same as with a vertical. It's the absolute value of 1 over a. If we plug in 1 half here, this is going to become 2. Done. Alright, so let's do a couple more practices here. We've got an equation in vertex form already. Almost in vertex form, sorry. Negative 1h is just going to equal y minus negative 1 squared minus 4. Your vertex. Your vertex is going to be negative 4, comma, negative 1. axis of symmetry. Well, I know that this is going to be a horizontal um, parabola, so what should I do? This is the axis of symmetry. It's going to go right down the middle. I haven't really talked about whether it's opening right or left, but I know the axis of symmetry is going to be right here. So the axis of symmetry is going to be y equals negative 1, and I better make sure that my focal length is my, uh, my focus, I mean, is going to be y equals negative 1. Is it still?
was my ride on that one. All right, what else can I figure out? Well, let's do this whole coin. 1 over 4a equals 1 over 4a, and this would be negative 1 8. Negative 1 8. So this becomes 1 over negative 4 over 8, which equals negative 2. Okay, so my focus is in this direction, negative 2. So that brings me to negative 2. Alright. And that means that for my directrix, the directrix I'm going to switch to solid, it's going to be 2 in this direction. The directrix is one focal length behind, and that means that its equation is x equals negative 2. Length of the lattice rectangle, square, uh, absolute value of 1 over a equals 2. The result is focus, 4 on either side, brings me there, and here. I can make a nice parabola right through this. Okay. okay. Let's try another one. First of all, is this in vertex form? Yes, it is. We know that it's an x equals y squared because we've got a horizontal parabola going on. Vertex is at... Comma zero, because it's lying on this zero step. So let's go ahead and plot that first. Axis of symmetry is going to be right down the middle of that line. So it's going to go right here. Axis of symmetry is right on the x axis. The equation for that is. Focal length, 1 over 4a, equals, well, a is negative 2, so we've got 1 over 4 times negative 2, which is negative 1, 8. Okay? So this is going to be really close. The focus then becomes, well, I know it's on this axis of symmetry, so y is 0, and negative 1, 8, started from 6, it's negative, so it's going to be smaller. It's going to be 5 and 7. 5 and 7. So it's going to be right up close. Okay? Similarly, the directrix is just going to be 1 8 behind. So that one's going to go to, well, let's draw it first. One eighth behind this. So we're going to say that this is x equals six and one fifth. Lattice rectum, you put in negative two, you end up with one half. That's the absolute value. And you can see that this is just going to be really tiny. It's going to be a really steep parabola going like that. All right, let's try this one. Oh, my video is about to run out. I'll have to do the second one in the second part. 